Brendan and I had only been married a year when he got fired. What happened? Well, officially, it was insubordination, which is basically a nice way of saying that he punched a death sergeant in the mouth. He always had a temper. He did private security after that? Off and on for a while, yeah. But mainly, he'd just go to the bar every night and come home drunk and complaining. Is that why you divorced him? I actually wasn't the one who filed. He left you? Yeah, after he started working at the prison. All of a sudden, he's working out, he's buying new clothes, he's wearing this ridiculous cologne, constantly lying to me about where he'd go every night. And then one day, he just came home and said he was leaving. Did he tell you why? I mean, I knew why. He met someone. He didn't have the guts to tell me who she was, and I didn't ask. I was so angry and humiliated. After all the crap he put me through, he was gonna better deal me? I'm sorry. Don't be. I mean, obviously, it's good riddance, right? Look, I don't know where he is, and I'm sorry for all those people that he killed. But honestly, I hate the man. And that woman, whoever she is that he left me for, she deserves everything that she's getting. Let her live with the shame, not me. All right, thank you for your time. Thank you.